Hey guys, my name is Ben and welcome to a turtle tutorial video. And today we're going to be, well in this series, we're going to be looking at, you know, how to program a turtle and eventually we'll be getting onto some more advanced things with the turtle. But for today, we're just going to be looking at the very basics of a turtle. So to make a turtle, uh, what you have to do is you have to place like a computer in the middle of the square. So a computer here, uh, a chest here, and then iron all around the edge. And that makes you a turtle. So here we have our turtle. Um, what we can actually do with a turtle, if you've never used computer graph before, um, turtles are sort of like programmable blocks, basically. So you can tell them to do whatever you want them to do. They have basically no limitations. You can do so much with them, and that's what we're going to be getting into. So let's just get into the very basics of the turtle. If I place down this turtle, you see it looks like this. I can right click on this turtle. It's going to say Turtle OS 1.5 because that's the uh, operating system we can, uh, we're in at the moment. We can then, you know, check that operating system again by typing shell, and that's going to bring up the turtle operating system. We have a list of, uh, of commands. If we type help, it will give us a list of, you know, programs and stuff we can do. And then pressing the key to continue, uh, like that. And, you know, it can get a bit spammy, so let's clear our screen by typing clear. Okay, so we can actually see what this is like um, a command prompt. This is a command prompt in here. If you've never used a command, prompt, a command prompt, or if you're not familiar with command prompt, that's what we're going to be sort of looking at. So, in command prompt, we are in a directory. We are in a folder, our very first folder at the top of the tree. And this is called the root folder. So, it's, it's the parent or grandparent of all other folders. And we're going to type dir to see what's inside of this folder. So, we've got rom inside of this folder. And what we can do is we can change directory to rom to get into that folder. So, to do that, we type cd, so change directory, rom. And now we're in ROM. So let's check what's in ROM by typing DIR. And we have all of these things. And then we can like CD programs. Uh, programs. And then we can, you know, DIR. And we have all of these things in here. So now it's going again. It's a bit spammy. So what we can do is we can say uh, shut down. And this will shut down the, the thing. And that will close that off. And then we can click on it again to load it back up. Say if we, uh, if we change to ROM again, we want to go back to CD. We can do CD dot dot. And that takes us back a directory. If we change to ROM and then we change to programs, uh, we can go right back to start by doing CD backslash. Oh, that was the Z. CD backslash, and that'll take us right back to the start. Okay, so a function or um, a program that's already written into the turtle is called dance. So if we type dance, it's going to say preparing to get down, and then it's going to say, you know, press any key to stop the group. Uh, so it's going to start dancing, it's going to do the stop. It stopped. So if we say dance again, it starts doing this. If we want to terminate this dance, what we can do is we can hold Control and T, and then it will terminate it. It will just stop it. It will stop whatever it's doing. So that's how we terminate a program. We hold the keys down together. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start getting into, you know, actually writing a program. And first of all, we want to know a few basic functions. So uh, if we type LUA, which is the programming language that this is a uh, programmed in Lua. This is called the interactive Lua prompt. So in here we can type whatever we want to actually sort of just test it. So if we type turtle, uh, and this is something we're going to start all of our things, well most of our things with really, we're going to say turtle dot turn left with a capital L and then two brackets at the end. You'll see the turtle will turn left and that will output true. Now if we type turtle dot forward, so we want turtle to move forward, it's going to say false, and the reason it's going to say false is because the turtle doesn't have any fuel in it. So if we get some coal, which is what the turtle needs to uh, actually move, we can get the coal, and we can place it, say, in any of these slots. So this is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh slot. So then we want to select this slot. So turtle dot select seven. We want to select the seventh slot, and as you'll see, this little box here has now gone around the coal. If we had have pressed the up arrow there and then done 8, it would have gone to the 8th slot, but we, didn't, we, went, we went to the 7th. So now, if we say turtle dot get fuel level, like that, so that's going to get the fuel level and it's going to return it to us, we have 0. So what that means is we have 0 moves that we can do. We, can do, we can't move at all with the turtle. So if we wanted this music... Uh, well, no, no... So if we want to refuel the turtle, we say turtle dot refuel, and that's gonna you know get the all that coal in that slot and refuel. 
So if we say turtle dot select one, so we're going to go back to the first slot. And now if we say turtle dot get fuel level, oh uh, sorry, uh, turtle get fuel level by pressing the up arrow, we can just go back through what we've really done. It's going to say five thousand one hundred and twenty. So that's how many moves we can now do. So if we now do turtle dot forward, you'll see that our turtle actually moved forwards there. So that's how that works. So if we can now do turtle dot back, it's going to move the turtle backwards one. And if we say turtle dot turn left and turn right, they don't require any fuel. So that is why we were able to do the turtle dot turn left and turn right. Cool. So now if we obviously, we can't write everything in this interactive Lewis script because in this interactive Lewis script, we can only run one line of code. We want to run multiple lines of code. So if we actually just break break this turtle, and then if we replace it, um, that's obviously going to reboot it, which saves us, us some time as well. But if we actually go back into Lua and we say turtle dot uh, get fuel uh, level again, you'll see that oh uh, I spelled it wrong. Uh, fuel level, you'll see that the fuel level has actually gone back to zero. So it's completely reset the turtle, and we don't really want to have to you know rewrite out our code every single time. So to save our code. What we use is something called a, a disk um, drive, and if we get a disk drive, and if we get a floppy disk as well, uh, which obviously you can craft by doing the following. So the disk drive is made by like that. We want this disk drive, not this disk drive. They're different things, and the floppy disk is made like so. And then obviously you can color them uh, like different ways and stuff. Like you know, you can make them different colors, stuff like that. So. We have our floppy disk and our disk drive. So if we place this disk, place this disk drive right next to our uh, turtle, and if we put the disk inside of the disk drive, you'll see that light turns green. And now if we go into here and we say dir, we have disk now. So let's change to disk. And then if we say dir, there's nothing in the disk. Okay. So we're gonna make a folder. So that is mkdir. So that stands for make directory. And in here we're gonna say turtle. And now if we say dir. We see a turtle now. Let's go into turtle. We're now in turtle. And in here, we can start editing scripts. So this has been your first tutorial on turtles. Next episode, we're going to start getting into sort of like writing your own scripts, actually using pickaxes with this turtle and stuff like that. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.